Hello everyone, my name is Voya and welcome to My Deep Guide. Today we're gonna explore the options on what you need and what you can actually do if you use one of your Onyx Books devices such as Note 2, Nova 2 or Max 3 as a secondary display to your PC computer. So let's check it out. Alright, so in order to get this whole setup to work, you will need two things, obviously. You'll need a computer that you want to project from, and this is going to be called a primary computer, and you will need your uh, Nova or Note or Max tablet. Now, keep in mind, this will work on any Android power device, including Note 2, Nova 2, and Max 3. Uh, what we're going to be using is um, an app called Space Desk and you need to install a Space Desk driver on your primary computer and you need to install a Space Desk app on the Android device that you will be using so that you can actually use the device as a screen, an additional screen to your primary computer. Let's first uh, focus on installing the driver on the primary PC. You need to go to the spacedesk.net and immediately we'll be greeted with the uh, download now button. So once we click on download now, you can choose your own version. First you locate your version that you want and you click on download. Once that downloads, you start the installation. During the installation it is important to allow Space Desk uh, as an exception to your firewall settings, otherwise uh, devices won't be able to connect to it. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're running a third-party firewall, uh, then it will prompt you to double-check that spacedeskservice.exe is included in the firewall so that it actually can work. And in case that you need to add the uh, Space Desk Service exe manually, by default it is installed in the Windows slash system32 directory in the root of it you will find the space desk service.exe so that's the one that you have to add as an exception rule to your firewall if needed once you have it installed uh, and set up in the firewall then you need to start up the space desk server so to speak so what you need to do is to hit the uh, windows button and do just a simple search for space desk and you will have the space desk server appear here. Once you start it up uh, it's basically now available to connect to. So now you can actually use the uh, Android device to connect to this server and to use it to set up external displays. So this is the portion of the setup for the PC. Now on your tablet, uh, in this case my Nova 2, I've already installed it, but what you want to do is you need to go to the apps, you need to go to Google Play Store, once it's of course enabled, um, you need to be <laughs> connected on your Wi-Fi naturally, and you just need to search for Space Desk App. And the first one that comes out, Space Desk Multi Monitor Display Extension Screen. This is the one that you will want to download. Now I already have it installed, so it's already present. Now, in order to establish a connection to the server on the PC, the server naturally has to be running first. And once you have this installed, you will find it in the apps and you'll find the Space Desk Beta app. I don't know why it's called Beta, but it works perfectly fine. Once you start up the app, it will display the history like previous devices that you were connected to and it will also display the currently available uh, devices that you can connect to. So in my case this is the Incontinentia buttocks. Alright so I got my server running on my PC and I got the Space Desk app on the Nova 2 running and looking for my PC. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tap on the PC that I want to connect to and my PC is going to say da 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 and immediately it will be connected to the uh, tablet. Depending on what type of settings you've had on your PC, the display quality might not be ideal. It might be stretched, the aspect ratio might be weird and all that kind of stuff. So for that you need to go back to your PC and you need to click on these three little dots here. It will give you an options list 
but more importantly it will give you a shortcut to display settings and this is where we want to actually go. Currently we have an option of mirroring the screen, right? So whatever I see here I will see the same on the other display as well. And that's maybe not the ideal way of doing this because most likely you won't have the same uh, resolution and aspect ratio as the tablet here. Depending on what you want to do, you can either choose the resolution uh, that fits your display. So in this case, that would be 1872 by 1404. So if I tap this, now the display on the Nova is going to be correct. This is the option that you would go for if you wanted to directly mirror the same display that you have on your PC onto the Nova as well. However, that's not the option that I would use to actually um, do this. What I would do is extend the display. So I would just extend the display onto the second one. And now automatically we have correct resolution on the uh, Nova 2. And more importantly, it appears as the second display. And now I can actually set up, okay, so second display, needs to have the correct resolution. There we go. So that's the correct resolution set up there. And in order for it to actually work properly, um, just to get it a little bit more quicker, I'm gonna switch to A2 mode. So what I have set up here is a new Google document uh, in a separate tab. While moving things around and doing stuff, the A2 mode really makes a lot more sense. Now, once I am in the A2 mode, Yes, the ghosting is there, but it does work properly. Now that I have it here, let's maximize it. All right, and at this point, I'm just going to refresh because we had a lot of stuff going on here. Let's start by typing a title for our document. So let's go for title and let's go now and say, this is my example document. Um, and right off the bat on Nova 2, you can see that the display is very, very small. So there are a couple of things that you definitely can do. First of all, going to the full screen mode in Chrome, it's F11 and that helps. Uh, and also more importantly, you can uh, zoom in until it actually fills in enough of the document so that it looks good. So once I have that done, then I can do my refresh here, put it back and now I can start writing. All right, so let's add the first chapter and go typing on an e-ink screen. Typing experience on Nova 2 is quite a new thing for me. Now, instantly, I have to say that it is definitely a new type of experience, especially if I uh, turn off the light itself. It's a very, very different type of feel. And I really do like how this whole thing works. However, there's a couple of caveats and I think it really depends on uh, the use case scenarios. But as you can clearly see, this works just fine if set up correctly. Um, there's no point in me typing too much or anything like that. And I think that using an e-ink display for anything other than typing or browsing, as in uh, things that don't require high refresh rates, um, it just doesn't make sense. So this clearly works and I love how it actually works. This is a totally new experience for me. Uh, however, you need to be aware of what you are actually doing. What you're actually doing is you're using your Onyx books as an extra display, which is hooked up to your computer. For me, it makes most sense to use uh, for typing because you don't get that white glaring at you all the time. And it's unbelievable how different the experience is once you actually turn off that light and you start typing, you're, you physically actually start 
feeling your eyes relaxing, your eyelids actually, my upper eyelids are relaxing when I am looking at this document and typing and that's a very very different thing. And this is a really small format so I can just imagine that on Note 2 or on Max 3 that the experience is even far better. So I can't wait to actually try that on Max 3 once I uh, have it for testing. So what are things that are problematic? Well, um, the mouse uh, cursor can be difficult to be found, especially on a smaller format as a Nova 2. I would encourage uh, practicing and learning how to use as much keyboard shortcuts as possible because that's gonna overcome that issue completely. Refresh rates, obviously that is something that has to be kept in mind. And for me, the A2 seems to be the best balance between quality and performance. You should test out your examples to see what works best for you. I'm honestly surprised how this whole thing actually worked out. The first thing that really surprised me in a really good way is how smooth and effortless the setup is. Uh, usually these things prove to be quite problematic and difficult and all of these sort of things, not in the case of the uh, Space Desk or whatever it's called. Um, it's just like, okay, install a server there, start it up, install the app there, hook up and it just works. I'm not used to that. Usually it actually involves some mumbo jumbo stuff, not here. So that's a huge plus. Another thing that really surprised me was how actually usable this whole setup might be. To be perfectly honest, initially I thought this would be just a little experiment, fun little experiment to try out. But before I knew it, I noticed the thing I talked about, which is the glare of the white. It's something that you're not even aware of because for decades I've been using the screen and typing on a screen you associate with the white glare. But all of a sudden, even on a tiny screen of a Nova 2, I began to notice the differences. Not only was I proven wrong that this is just a little exercise and an example to try out, but it actually opened up my eyes to the possibility of using ink displays for certain things. Now granted, the refresh rate is nowhere near a normal display, of course, and if you plan on using the Note 2 or Nova 2 uh, as, as a display, secondary display device, you probably should keep it plugged in because the battery consumption is going to be through the roof, which is completely normal because it's like mm, using everything that the device has. I'm really surprised and I honestly did not expect to discover something completely new for me, at least as an experience. So I can't wait to actually try this out on the Max 3 because that's a much bigger display and it's actually designed for that and with that in mind. So that's something that I'm really looking for to trying out. But yeah, this tutorial you can apply to Note 2, Nova 2 or Max 3 and it should work equally well. Thank you so much for watching and for the support. If you like the video please like and subscribe and check out the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter links there because it does help to actually grow the MyDeep Guide thingy. That's it from me for today and see you in the next video. Bye!